What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NFL DFS contenders on FanDuel for Monday Night Football Raiders and Chargers. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, only place that you can get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. Let me know in the comments section who's your favorite and least favorite of my contenders. And finally, shout out to No House Advantage, the presenting sponsor of these videos. If you use the promo code AWESOMO when signing up at No House Advantage, you'll get a little bit of extra money on that first deposit. You can't beat free cash. Now, I gotta let you guys know, I am going with the assumption that Josh Jacobs will play today. That is what I'm moving forward with, so you'll understand why you don't see some certain names. We round out the bottom of my top 10 with Hunter Renfro, Mike Williams, Tristan Viscaino, Darren Waller, and Jared Cook. This is a very difficult slate. Number one, on an island, not even close. Two, three, and four, basically coin flips. You can flip them around however you want. Even five and six and seven are all packed tightly together. This is a very difficult slate on FanDuel, but that's why I'm here to tell you everything. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. Now, I know that I said that Josh Jacobs is in for me, but still, because he's 8K, number five for me is Kenyon Drake. I think that he's still just going to be involved in the passing game. He's projected for 8.7 fantasy points, so it's not like I'm going crazy. It's just a value thing. The Raiders are three-point dogs, but it's a 51.5 point total. You expect a lot of offense. The Raiders have the number eight offense via PFF. Going up against the number 26 defense, I do find that to be interesting. Now, you're not expecting Drake to go for a big one. Just a half percentage point chance of going over 25 fantasy points. He's never the optimal MVP. But 39% of the time, rounded up to 40. It, it's, there's rounding involved here. That's why you're seeing it, 40. Drake is in the optimal 40% of the time. That's a lot, but it, it's fully a value metric. At 8K, if he's still involved and catches three passes, potentially for, I don't know, 40, 50 yards, that's hitting your mark. That's where you want to be. I still like Drake if Josh Jacobs is in. At number four, we've got $13,500 Austin Eckler projected for 15.8 fantasy points. Chargers are favorites here against the Raiders. 51 and a half point total, as I mentioned. This is the number 13 offense via PFF against the number 11 defense. So pretty balanced above average versus above average. 13% likelihood that Austin Eckler goes for more than 25 fantasy points. 10% likelihood to be the optimal MVP, plus another 36 at the flex. You can see that's enough to take a step up. You're more than happy to pay 13.5 for Austin Eckler. That gets him to the number four spot. Pretty nice given that price. I don't understand this price. I love him a lot this week. Keenan Allen, 12,500. One of my favorite GPP plays on DraftKings. It's not any different here. Projected for 14.4 fantasy points. You expect them to throw. And because of his price tag, you don't even need as much as you normally do for someone like Keenan Allen. Mike Williams is the guy that has the really big price increase here. Off the top of my head, I think he's $1,500 more expensive than Keenan Allen. I just don't agree with it. 16% likelihood for Allen to go for more than 25 fantasy points. 15% chance to be the optimal MVP, plus another 34% at the flex spot. It's almost a coin flip. Keenan Allen gets to 48% and just edges out Austin Eckler. Next up at number two, not even close to number one, it's Derek Carr. He's 16K, projected for 19.6 fantasy points. It's not too shabby. This is the number eight offense. It's a great matchup per PFF. 25.5% chance that he's going to score 25 fantasy points. That would be very nice if you have him. 23% likelihood to be the optimal MVP. 26% at flex as well. It's difficult to get him in in a flex spot because 16000 is a lot of salary. And for him to get enough there to still fit but also not be the MVP, it's a tricky balance. So I like Carr a lot more in the MVP than I do at the flex. I expect him to be over-owned in flex in comparison to captain. Now, before we get to that very obvious number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Head to Twitter, follow me, at Josh Engelman, only place you get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. And then let me know in the comments your favorite and least favorite of my contenders, along with giving a little bit of a shout out to No House Advantage for being the sponsor of this video. And it's not even close. Number one, Justin Herbert. $500 cheaper than Derek Carr, 15,500, projected for 22 fantasy points. 37% likelihood to go for over 25. 
36% likelihood to be the optimal MVP. Yeah, that's a big number. Another 34% at the flex. That puts Justin Herbert in the optimal 70% of the time. A full 20% more likely than Derek Carr. I can't go a different direction. FanDuel's different because you don't have to change the salary when you bump up for the multiplier. This is a raw points equation. And unquestionably, Justin Herbert has the highest odds of any individual player to be the highest scorer, which makes him the number one contender this week. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NFL DFS contenders on FanDuel for Monday Night Football, Chargers, and Raiders. There's a DraftKings version of this video around here somewhere. Check it out. I will be back again on Thursday for another edition of the Contenders. Good luck tonight, everybody.